Hey everyone, how you going? My name is Perry. Um, just thought I'd do a bit of a video update on what's happening with the car. Um, this is for my friends at, uh, at Aussie V8 and also people who follow the progress of the car on the blog. Um, as you'd be aware, it's up on a rotisserie. I'll take you in there, show you the car, show you how much work I've still got to do on it. And uh, I hope you enjoy the updates. It's just something a bit different. Oh, and Ed, if you're watching, mate, see you next Tuesday. All right, well here we are in the uh, in the shed, trusty welder. Let's have a look at this beast. Uh, firstly, the uh, the underside of it. Um, I've uh, I've repaired the uh, the panel that was missing there where the gas tank was. Uh, still a lot of uh, a lot of muck and so on underneath, but uh, yeah, I started welding up some of the uh, the holes that are in there. Uh, some of that's going to be the easy stuff, of course. Uh, I'll clean the bottom of it up and uh, give it a coat or two of uh, stone chip uh, I just started cleaning the metal there just to see how it would come up uh, I think what I'm going to do is uh, grab myself one of those little uh, sandblasting handheld guns and uh, and get into the uh, the nasty bits under there because it's pretty hard to get in there with the uh, the old attachment on the on the drill and the grinder so as you can see the uh, the rotisserie is not a uh, you know, not a, a particularly fancy one, but it does do the job, and uh, it was uh, it was lent to me for the right price, so I'm not complaining about that at all. Let's uh, walk around the other side here. Um, in case you're wondering about the uh, the welder, it's not a not a terribly expensive one, but it is a uh, you know as far as welders go, but it is a good one. It does the job really well. I'm um, using 0.6 millimeter wire, and uh, that's Argo Shield light that's in the uh, in the gas tank there. I'm still, uh, I'm not the world's greatest welder, I'm still learning a lot of this stuff, so uh, it's taking me a little bit of time to, to get the hang of it. But anyway, one of the things that you see straight away when you look at, uh, look at the car here is how much rust I've still got to deal with. The car's been uh, sandblasted, and uh, well I should say garnet and soda blasted, by the guys down at uh, Shotgun in Colac. We've done a great job on it, and they've uh, they've undercoated it for me so that I don't have to uh, worry about the rust getting in there. But you can see that there's already a lot of rust that's uh, that's already there that I have to repair. So as we have a look at the car, the perspective is kind of weird because uh, because the thing's up on its side. So, but you'll get the idea. Um, quite a few holes and things that I've got to deal with, you know, inside, inside and out. But uh, that's all part of the fun of Restoring an old car. Um, the roof is uh, is particularly messy. A lot of holes in it because uh, the uh, the roof racks that were on it uh, basically they let water through and uh, made a hell of a mess of the roof. The floor pan isn't too bad. I'm pretty happy with that. There's a little bit of work to do on it, but nothing uh, nothing major. Certainly no sections that I have to uh, have to cut out. And, and replace like uh, like some people I know have to uh, so I'm not too unhappy about that side of things let's have a look under here the uh, the scuttles here the front as you see if we look down that's not too bad either I'll probably end up um, if we go in close and have a look you can see that there's some evidence of a bit of rust and so on in the corners here so I'll probably end up uh, probably end up getting replacement panels for, for these sections and just replacing that uh, and if we go around and have a look at the firewall I'm pretty happy with uh, with how that looks apart from uh, all the holes and so on I want to uh, clean that up a bit and uh, hide some of the wiring and uh, make it as neat and tidy as I can for when I put it back together um, as you can see lots of parts everywhere that's always the way when you're uh, stripping and building cars. Um, stuff everywhere, shelves. On the floor, against the wall, leaving the old petrol tank and some parts for, uh, for other cars that don't belong with this. So anyway, it's all good fun. I'm enjoying it, I'm learning, and uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed the update. See ya.